I'm Dr. Jennifer Gertz. I'm an attending psychologist at the Seattle Children's Autism Center and an assistant professor in psychiatry at the um, University of Washington School of Medicine. And I am going to be talking about an interdisciplinary team evaluation approach that we've developed at Seattle Children's um, for the diagnostic assessment of autism spectrum disorder. And this stemmed from uh, a concern that's in the field, not just in Seattle, but across the country, of a large lag time between the first time that parents have concerns about their child's behavior or development and either notice it themselves or express it to their primary care provider, and then the ultimate autism spectrum disorder diagnosis, which for many families comes years later after the first time that they have had concerns about their child. So, And this is a large problem in terms of accessing services and treatments that are available and targeted for children with a diagnosis of autism. So at Seattle Children's, we were hoping to come up with ways of um, shortening that, that lag time. One of the challenges that we face as professionals working in the autism field is that there's a lot of need. There's a lot of families that are out there seeking diagnostic evaluation, and there's not enough people out there to do it. So this creates a, a large wait time um, when families call to schedule an appointment. At our center, it's many months, um, sometimes ranging up to, to a year and a half to two years <laughs> before we're able to actually see the family. So we're, we try to create a, um, a new way of evaluating that took advantage of the multiple disciplines that are at our center and um, was designed to be more streamlined, more uh, efficient in our processes. So that's the, uh, the interdisciplinary team approach that uh, I'll be talking about today. So um, we, our approach at Seattle Children's is to have two providers of different disciplines. So either a psychologist paired with a speech language pathologist or a nurse practitioner paired with a psychologist. Um, two different sets of eyes, two different uh, discipline perspectives coming together to make a decision about an autism spectrum disorder diagnosis in one child. Um, and the way that our scheduling works is we're able to see two patients per day um, using this, this team approach. So this paper looked at um, outcomes, compared uh, diagnostic outcomes, um, compared uh, provider satisfaction, compared follow-up care rates, compared billing time, reimbursement rates in uh, our interdisciplinary team evaluation with two more standard approaches to diagnostic evaluation that are used throughout the country but were in use at at the time at, um, at our Seattle Children's Autism Center. And those approaches were um, a multidisciplinary team that was led by either a psychologist or led by a physician. And so we compared these outcomes in uh, children, patients that were evaluated using the interdisciplinary team approach to the multidisciplinary team approach led by a physician or by a psychologist. Um, and we found some real positive findings. So in our interdisciplinary team approach, um, we found comparable autism spectrum disorder diagnoses rates in um, the, uh, it's compared to the diagnostic evaluations led by psychologists or led by um, physicians. This was a range from 60 to 70% about of autism diagnosis, which is consistent with diagnostic rates in other centers throughout the country. So that was good news. Um, we also were able to make a decision in this single day approach in most patients, 90% of patients that were seen through our interdisciplinary single day approach, um, we had enough information and enough confidence in diagnosis that we made the call, we made the decision in 90% of patients seen through that approach. Um, and then um, we also looked at follow-up care rates. So we were surprised to find actually that patients seen in, through the interdisciplinary team approach were five times more likely to come back and engage in follow-up care of some kind, either treatment or medical appointments or therapies of some kind at our center, which we recommend for patients um, seen through any track. Um, so we were, we were glad to see that patients were much more likely to come back and engage in follow-up care if they were seen through an interdisciplinary team approach compared to the physician or the psychology-led approaches, which were um, five times more likely than the physician-led approaches to come back and twice as likely to come back um, as the psychology-led approach. 
provider satisfaction was also higher. So providers seem to enjoy working in a collaborative inter-team approach where they're jointly coming to a decision about an autism diagnosis um, about one patient. Um, we also found that build time was um, faster. So we spent about two hours less in the interdisciplinary team evaluations compared to the psychology-led approaches, which is actually the most common way that children are evaluated for autism throughout the country um, by having a psychologist involved in some way. And myself as a psychologist um, was glad to see that, um, that we could still do quality care, still provide uh, gold standard diagnostic evaluations for children, but do it in less time, um, which allows more patients to be seen uh, through our autism center and, and hopefully has impacts on how long families have to wait from first call to actually being seen for evaluation. Um, reimbursement rates from insurance companies were similar, um, actually better in the interdisciplinary team approaches compared to the psychology-led and, and not as good as physician-led approaches, um, but, but really was ultimately financially feasible for our center, uh, and so much so that we decided last year to use an all-interdisciplinary team approach um, and did away with our um, psychology-led only and our physician-led only and involved those providers in the interdisciplinary team approach. Um, and that's how we do all of our evaluations at this point. So we're hoping that um, other centers might benefit from reading about our approach and consider um, using a collaborative interdisciplinary team approach, which is um, good for providers. They seem to enjoy it and also seems to be financially sustainable um, for, at least for our clinic.